Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you how to create 3 node Hyper-V cluster. So basically in this video I am going to show you Hyper-V, uh, 3 node Hyper-V cluster installation and configuration uh, with Starwin Virtual SAN. So here is my demo environment which we are going to use in this demo. So we have total 4 virtual machines. The first one is Active Directory Server and we have 3 Hyper-V host which is Hyper-V server basically. So the first uh, uh, server which is our Active Directory server having uh, uh, hostname win2k12r2dc01 and you can see all the my all my hosts are installed with Windows Server 2012R2 data standard edition. So let's verify first domain controller. So here you can see we have one, two, three, four virtual machine, and the first virtual machine is running Active Directory and DNS role. If you go to the local server, you can verify the uh, IP address, computer name, and my domain name is victorinfosol.com. So, and next we have three ESX host, uh, sorry, uh, Hyper-V host, which is Hyper-V01, Hyper-V02, and Hyper-V03. So you can verify. I have assigned 8 GB RAM, 8 GB RAM to all the machines and the machines are joined in my domain so here you can see if you, I click on local server on Hyper-V1 you can see machine is joined under my domain under my domain which is Victor Info Soul and I have logged in with my domain ad administrator domain admin account which is cluster admin with on all the servers so here, here you can verify same you can verify on Hyper-V2 server and same you can verify on hyper v3 machine is part of domain and we have logged in with cluster admin so this is something like um, especially which we are going to use in this demo hyper v3 node cluster so so let's do this step by step so the first step by step installation and configuration of Hyper-V cluster the first thing we need to install a Hyper-V role on all the uh, all the Hyper-V nodes so we have total three Hyper-V host here so the uh, some basic requirement for installing the Hyper-V role you must have to uh, the machine which is physical server uh, must have Intel VT technology enabled so this is my virtual machine so I have enabled virtualization Intel VT technology on my virtual machine either you if you are using a hype uh, like hardware server then you you have to go to BIOS and you have to enable this feature so to install a Hyper-V role go to manage add all in features click next and role based feature base and select your server now here we have a Hyper-V role click add button and then next click next next and don't touch anything networking we will have a separate step to configure the networking so just leave the all default and click on install button so same I want to uh, do on my Hyper-V host 2 add all and features click next next server name select nav select the Hyper-V role and leave the all setting default just click next 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 and finally click on install to confirmation and same you have to do on Hyper-V host 3 next next select your server click next and then Hyper-V role and click next leave the everything default migration default shares and click install so by this we are done with the uh, once the installation is done the computer we we need to reboot the server all the three Hyper-V hosts then we are we will verify the Hyper-V settings and will create a like uh, we'll go to the next step which is uh, NIC teaming can uh, create NIC team and converge network for and configure IP address so just wait for a few seconds to get the installation done then reboot the server so you can see on Hyper-V01 uh, it's almost done like a few more seconds to then the installation so now you can see the installation is done on Hyper-V1 and it restart is pending so I'm going to restart the all three nodes now so just restart node 1 
and same you can verify on node 2 as well as restart is pending on 3 as well as it will enable the required features and role and then uh, uh, then we are able to log into server so I am pausing the recording here once we are uh, uh, and the page is displayed for login window then we will start the recording and will show you how to do the next step so pausing the recording for now so now you can see server is rebooted click control to Dell to log into server So let's log into all the Hyper-V nodes by using the same account which is cluster admin. So second task is create teaming and uh, and create a. Uh, coverage network for and configure IP address for all NIC so let's do this so uh, on a Hyper-V1 you can see uh, I have 4 NIC basically a uh, physical server uh, have 4 NIC so I am using 4 NIC to create a teaming so to create a teaming just go here and click on NIC teaming disable so it will give you pop up a screen where you can configure the NIC teaming and sign the name so I have here on desktop you can see I have one script to create a converged network for Hyper-V so let's check out this script first so now you can see the nick teaming wizard is open just check out the script here so you can see I am creating four nick here for virtual nick which is the first nick is domain nick for domain connectivity second nick is ISKC which is basically con connecting ISKC drives learns to the all the Hyper-V host and the cluster network for the cluster heartbeat and one one for, one for like live migration so this is the all infrastructure which uh, we are uh, creating so we need to if you verify the script the first thing we need to create a network adapter name which is converged so nick so I'm going to create this by using teaming so just go and copy this name so we have to create a s teaming for this name on a all the servers so on a nick teaming you have to click on task so new team and paste the name and select the all the nick just left the all the default options click ok and now you can see it's new teaming saving state so once it's ready so let's do this on all the NIC then we will verify the setting after the after this so so click on NIC teaming on a Hyper-V2 and here we have option and paste the name and select the all NIC we have four NIC or on all Hyper-V host and let's do a same on third ESX host uh, third, uh, third Hyper-V host so here we have Nick Teaming and select the name and type the name and select all the four Nick so it's done let's verify on like server one so it's one active right now give some time it will uh, check all the nick and will now you can see the all four nick is active and we have a dynamic switch independent uh, our team is created and let's go ahead and close this and now if you refresh it you can see we have a here you can verify the we have only one virtual nick let's verify the same from here also So we have four physical NIC connected and we have created one logical adapter here so if I go to details you can see we have a here details you can see we have a 
for physical link and one virtual team in network so I am going to run this script here to run this script I am going to launch a PowerShell from here PowerShell ISC and run as administrator click yes just wait for a few seconds let's the PowerShell to load here you can see the PowerShell is now loaded now I'm going to browse this script and run this so click open button go to desktop and select the script and here we have a script over so click on run a script so now you can see what is going to be changed here now you can see that network is unplugged dead and now it's removed now it's enabled and it will create it, it will automatically create four NIC for us so we have four NIC here domain vnic cluster vnic live migration and iscc vnic so let's wait for for the next so now you can see the script is completed and you can go ahead and close this and now we you can see we have four NIC here associated with domain NIC, ISKC cluster and live migration as as we have in my excel sheet and now you can see we have IP address configuration here dedicated IP address configure for all the four NIC from a different subnet basically and I am using class C or default gateway uh, default subnet mask which is 24 bit you can see 255.255.255.0 for all networks so so now let's do the configuration so here I am going to do on first my domain controller so domain network so let's disable the IPv6 go to properties and put the IP address 192.168.241 and it's don't they give the like DNS and put here the default gateway as well as because it's connected to my LAN so it must be 1.1 so it's done and now go to ISKC just verify from ISKC need to be configured or 10 series so configure the IP address here disable the IPv6 go to properties and put here 10.10.10.241 and the default subnet password class here no need to put gateway or DNS because it's just to connect my ISKC network on live migrate cluster network you can see dot two so let's do this So one nine two one six eight one uh, sorry two or two four one and don't need to configure gateway and DNS on this network because it's going to be used for heartbeat only and this network we are going to use for live migration. So go to here and put one nine two one six eight dot three dot two four one and here you can verify so we have configured this server Hyper-V1 as given IP address configuration and now we are good to go and close this and same configuration we need to run on all the three uh, uh, rest to Hyper-V host so now you can you can see the NIC is configured as per our document and now I am going to configure the rest to so here you can see the NIC is teaming is created and just go here and properties go to list of details and now go ahead close this and now run the PowerShell ISC as a run as administrator ok 
click here so I want to run and just wait for a second to load this now you can go to open and go to desktop and select a script and then you can go ahead and hit enter to run the script and same I am going to do on Hyper-V3 so PowerShell run as administrator on Hyper-V2 you can verify it's running and it's creating the required NIC go to open button select desktop and now select the script and run the script so now you can see the its script is completed and now we just need to configure the IP address here let's verify then the NIC configuration on this host as also so So now you can see the whole Hyper-V2 and Hyper-V3 is ready for like IP configuration. So I'm going to configure the IP address then we will resume the recording once again. So now you can see on verify on uh, Hyper-V2 we have done with IP address configuration and Hyper-V3 also as per my uh, given seat here. So Excel seat. So we are done with this activity and now the next task is create a high available storage on Starwind Virtual SAN. So I have installed Starwind Virtual SAN on my mm, your physical host. So let's connect with this. And if you uh, see the disk, uh, the machine is connected here. So I want to uh, like connect with my IP address, which is add server. So my physical machine IP address is 10.10.100. So if I click OK. I can see it's connected so it will just click on connect so, so it will load and now we have to create a add target and then we have to def define a target for like name hyper v 3 node and then allow m must you need to allow the uh, uh, concurrent sessions so click next and create a target now you can see we have a target created here and now add device we have to add three device here the first one is for quorum disk so call it like isc01 and let's create it for 2gb only and leave the all options default so click on finish and next we have to add one more hard drive virtual drive and call it ISC02 and make it like 100 GB and leave the all options default and if you don't have hype, uh, like a Starwind you can go ahead and download the Starwind and create the virtual SAN or you can either use any tool virtual appliance to create a Hyper-V uh, storage so So now you can see we have created three here, uh, three target, uh, one target, and we have associated three hard drive with this target. So, so let's move to new step, which is install failover cluster and multipathing on 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 all a, uh, Hyper V nodes. So let's do it on first ESX uh, Hyper V host and add remove features. Go to don't need to select anything from server rule go to server feature and then we have to select the failover clustering and then we have multipathing also here so click next and now it will install the multipathing and failover cluster on hyper v1 and same need to do with hyper v2 on a feature page select the 
fill with clustering and multipathing click next and install and same I'm going to do on my third Hyper-V host role page feature page select multipathing and fill with clustering so its installation is running and now you can see the once the installation is done we can proceed with next step which is which is like enable MPIO and MPIO and restart the all the Hyper-V nodes so how to enable it just wait for a few seconds to get the installation done then we'll proceed with the next step so you can see the installation is started on all the uh, all the Hyper-V host so installation completed go ahead and close this and now to enable the MPIO setting go to tools and we have MPIO setting here and here you, you have to click on add uh, go to like here and click on add support for ISKC devices and click add and you can see a reboot is required to complete this operation reboot now yes I want to reboot so same I have I uh, have to do with the all the our Hyper-V host so go to MPIO settings multi discovery path click add restart now gotta close this MPIO discover so all the three Hyper-V host is now rebooting so the next task we, we need to discover the target of uh, target portals on all the Hyper-V nodes and then we will uh, connect the target and configure the multipathing so just wait for a few seconds to get the restart all the Hyper-V nodes and I can see the all the Hyper-V node is restarting now all the Hyper-V host is rebooted let's log into Hyper-V 1, 2 and 3 step by step so type the password for cluster admin account on Hyper-V 2 as well as and finally on Hyper-V 3 enter so now we discover the like target portals on all the Hyper-V hosts so just wait for a few seconds to get the server manager load then we will st do the next step so now you can s go to like ISKC initiator and yes I want to run the service all time when the server gets rebooted or started and now on the discovery on the target we have to put our server IP which is 10.10.10.100 and click on connect and you can see we have one target here which is Hyper-V 3 node and get connect with this click here and enable multipath I click OK and here now if you go to computer management and disk management there you can verify the three disk he is now initiated and now I am going to bring online all the disk and then go and initialize put it in MBR all is so so UEM also it's quorum disk and same we need to format the rest to drive as you can say or you can see like CSV disk 01 
next and finish and uh, now we need to format the 200 GB drive right button new volume click next next and put here CSV disk 2 and click next and finish so it will so now if you go to my computer just wait for a second to bring the 200 GB disk online and get formatted so here you can see all the three disks is mapped and same I'm going to do on my second server Hyper-V2 so ISKC initiator click yes I want to run every time and then put the IP address of server quick connect and then connect to target and if you click connect enable the multipathing and if you go to my computer and computer management this management and now you can bring online the desk So it's also visible on Hyper-V2 and Hyper-V1 and same I'm going to do on my Hyper-V3 server. So go to ISKC, yes, and put the IP address of your target server which is 10.10.100 .10 in my case. Click connect and then enable the multipathing. Oops, enable the multipathing now go to computer management and bring the disk online so E is online, quorum disk is online and now bring the cluster disk 1 go on my computer you can see the two disks is assigned and same we need to bring the online disk 3 so now you can verify the storage is available on Hyper-V1, Hyper-V2 and Hyper-V3 as well as uh, now we can go ahead with the next uh, next task which is validate and create cluster so let's do the do this you can go ahead on any of the clusters any of the node and so I'm going to do it from my node 1 actually so go to a, a failover cluster manager and here we have to expand this and right click and click on create cluster So just wait for a few seconds. So here we have a uh, create cluster wizard. Click next and need to select the server. So I'm going to put here like Hyper-V and check. So we have three nodes: Hyper-V one, two, and three. Select the all three nodes and click OK. Then it will validate the server settings. So we have some problem with node three. Here, so uh, Hyper-V3 node as well as so just restart one more time Hyper-V3 to get the effect. Might be something which is pending with restart. So now after rebooting, you can see we are good to add a Hyper-V node 3 as well as if I give you a can
so we are good to go and click next and now we have uh, some validation warning and validation check for like uh, cluster so yes I want to uh, run the reconfiguration validation wizard and then we need to create a cluster so go ahead and click next and now you can see the validation creation wizard is opening and what you you want to run so I want to test all which is recommended so we have a list of uh, cluster before the cluster validation so just click next now now it's going to run the cluster validation first over is system everything so click on next now you can see it will take some time to run and uh, check the all the validation requests and and just be patient to uh, uh, once the complete then we will browse the details and we'll see w what is the different uh, like all the pre request check before creating the cluster so pausing the recording here once the cluster validation is that is finished I will uh, uh, we will check the reports for cluster validation and we'll show you how to validate the things and in a report so pausing the recording for now and now you can see the report everything seems successfully passed so also you can click on view report to check the report on like web browser so everything is passed successfully we don't have any error or any warning so we are basically good to go to create a clusters hyper v3 node clusters so click here on finish button and now we have to put the cluster name so I have to put here hyper v cluster and give the IP address which is I want to give to 30 and click next now uh, uh, click here M must be sure you are added here all the add all the eligible stories to the cluster click next now you can see the validating cluster and it's creating object in active directory so if you go here under the active directory you can see the one object is created there in active directory with the same name which we have uh, given on to cluster so just wait for a few more seconds to get the installation done and waiting for like cluster services on node 2 I just started so here you can see the cluster Hyper-V cluster failover cluster virtual network account has been created and we are good creating resource type on cluster Hyper-V cluster so creating IP address resource so everything is configured successfully so click on finish expand so we we have three roles three nodes hyper v1 2 and 3 and if you expand the storage disk we have three disk here so you can see that a 2 gb disk has been uh, assigned to Quarum and if you want to go here you can rename this disk as like Quarum disk click apply and now go on like disk one properties and call it like CSV disk zero one lie and same need to turn on disk 
which is CSV disk 2 so click OK and if you go to network you can verify here we have a three network so you can see the also IP address which is configured here and the cluster network which is uh, participating in this network so on a summary you can see this network so the first network which is here is for basically ISCSI so you can type it like ISCSI hyphen network click apply and you can see the NIC which is configured with uh, this uh, 192.168.3 which is, is for live migration so go ahead and rename this so this one is for live migration so click here apply now you can see here we have option live migration setting so we can assign the network so we have only one NIC I want to use for live migration and click apply so it has been set for live migration and this is our basically domain network so you can copy this and paste it here like domain iPhone network and one is left only so go to properties and this is for like heartbeat heartbeat network click apply and ok so everything is seems done successfully so and now if you want to deploy the virtual machine you can go ahead and deploy the virtual machine on cluster so this is all about in this video and creating and configuring the three node hyper-v cluster so Thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query or question related to this please post me on my given band IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.